there's a new navigation layout coming to Drupal 11, and it's going to be available really soon. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training, and you heard it right. There's a new navigation system coming to Drupal. If you've used the Gin admin theme, you've actually already seen most of it. It's going to be adopted into Drupal 11, but here's the news. It's going to be available soon in Drupal 10.3 as a core experimental module. Well, I've installed the release candidate one. Let's take a quick peek. Here under Core Experimental, there is Navigation and Navigation Top Bar. Now, I can tell you right now, that doesn't work yet. We're not even going to touch it. I'm going to turn it on, but before I do, it requires Block Field Field Layout Builder Layout Discovery and Contextual Links. I'm going to go ahead and install it. And it's giving me that warning. Are you sure? Core Experimental modules are dangerous, and they are, of course. And here you go. Now, again, if you've ever used the Gin theme, this is actually going to be pretty familiar, except with the brand new creation menu. And this is one of the things they've worked really hard on. You get a new create menu for your content types and your media types if you have the media manager turned on, which I do. Blocks, content, files, and media are all listed here in the top section of the menu. And this is really nice. If I want my content overview, well, I just click on content and we'll bring up the normal screens, of course. Then there's structure, appearance, extend, configure, people, reports, and announcements. And of course, down at the bottom, help, and then the user menu. One of the nice things is the ability to collapse that. So once you get a handle on the icons, you can very quickly go to the places you want to go to. Hovering over any of the icons then makes the side tray shift out. So you're either going to love this or hate it. I got to admit, when I first heard about it and when I first looked at it, wasn't much of a fan, but it has grown on me very, very quickly to the point where, yeah, I'm really ready to have this new navigation system. I think content editors will love it. The ability to just hover over the plus symbol, create a node or a media item, I think is going to be great. Now, it's still an experimental. I'd like to see remote video here, of course. I think that's an important piece of the media module. It is available, of course, but I'd still like to see it under this hover state here since we've got document and image. I don't know if that's coming or not. But again, really, really fantastic. Very quick to get everywhere you need to go. When you open one of these up and there's a drop down, you have to click the link. It doesn't automatically slide down at this point. Well, as I mentioned, this is a core experimental module. So you're not going to turn it on in production, but I'm pretty excited about the direction that Drupal is going. I've said this before, but right now, I think is one of the most exciting times to be in Drupal. Not only have you got innovations like this, you've got Starshot that's coming in under eight months, supposedly. We'll see how that goes. Stay tuned for some more details about Starshot in another video. Well, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tip from OS Training. I hope you're as excited as I am about where Drupal is heading these days. This toolbar is just one of many innovations coming to Drupal in 10.3. And then finally, Drupal 11, which should launch either in July or November, depending on how things go. <laughs>